Basic Introductions, Communication Variations. When introducing a person to another person, there are a few different ways in which you can go about it. There is the casual way, a more formal way, and a very formal way. So let's start with the casual way. You would start your sentence with, this is my, and then you can say, best friend, childhood friend, old friend, and then state the person's name. For example, this is my best friend, Joe. This is my childhood friend, Jerry. This is my old friend, Jennifer. You can also say this is my coworker, Jennifer. This is my colleague, Dr. Wilson. This is my boyfriend, Thomas. This is my girlfriend, Leah. This is my roommate, Carl. This is my mother, Melissa. This is my father, Dwayne. This is my brother, Thomas. This is my sister, Amy. If you want to be more formal, you can start your sentence with, I'd like you to meet my. I'd like you to meet my best friend, Joe. One more example, I'd like you to meet my colleague, Dr. Williams. If you want to be very formal, you can say, I'd like to introduce you to my best friend, Carl. I'd like to introduce you to my coworker, Thomas. One more example, I'd like to introduce you to my boss, Mr. Williams. Next, we are going to extend on pleasantries. So you begin your sentence with I am or I'm. And then you can say I'm pleased to meet you. I'm glad to meet you. I'm happy to meet you. I'm delighted to meet you. I'm thrilled to meet you. To make it a little more formal, you can use to make your acquaintance at the end of the expression. For example, you can say, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. One more example, I'm delighted to make your acquaintance. Next, we are doing more extensions on pleasantries. So this time we're going to start the sentence with it's or it is. It's nice to meet you. It's great to meet you. It's wonderful to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. If you want to make it more formal, just add to make your acquaintance at the end of the sentence. So you can say it's nice to make your acquaintance. It's wonderful to make your acquaintance. There's other ways in which you can answer, how do you two know each other? So, of course, you can say, we're old friends or we're childhood friends. You can also say, we're coworkers, we're colleagues, we're roommates, we're classmates. Another way you can answer this question is start your answer with, we know each other from, and then state a place. So, how do you two know each other? We know each other from school. We know each other from church. We know each other from work. We know each other from class.